Okay, welcome back. Reason today it's gonna be a table. I've got a, uh, I've got a piece of you uh, that I got. <coughs> really beautiful piece of wood. Loads and loads of character on it. Um, nice wainy edge. So we're gonna make a coffee table and lay it inside uh, some sort of form and uh, then resin it and see how it comes out. Um, hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so next thing to do is to uh, make the form for this to sit in, and then we can get to resin. Is resin even a word? I don't know. We get to put some resin in anyway, so let's build that. Okay, so we've got our template based out. Um, just cut this from a bit of old ply that uh, the lathe arrived in. So, thank you, Charnwood, for that um, free plug for you. So, we'll just line up these two bits, ensure that they fit within. Which they do just. Might have to do a little bit of trimming, but it's not bad, too bad of a fit actually. That's pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty good that. I don't really want to go right up against this edge, because I want there to be a little bit of resin overhang. Same down here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so first things first then, is we'll glue up these supports and encase that in and then that will give us something that we can break open uh, later on and retrieve this table out um, yeah okay so I'm trying to hold the camera as still as possible uh, so the image is nice and clear right so we've uh, glued up our box form now uh, you can see I've put the tape in on all of the four sides and the bottom and then I've placed the two bits of you inside and I think that's going to make a really really effective table um, so we'll mix up some resin um, and we'll stick a small layer in um, and see how that looks in 24 hours when it dries okay so there's part A and there's the part B um, so it's two parts of this to every part of this now in order to make what well, I hope the uh, the center section to look a bit like a river I've got some of this blue um, cobalt blue metallic powder. Uh, this was a gift from my wife. Um, she's uh, annoyingly good at buying gifts so I might mix up a little bit of this and just see what happens. Um, there's various other ones you can get. She also got me like a, a glittery one which I think will look really cool and there's also a couple of packets of uh, glow in the dark as well which might look awesome um, but I'm not going to try this one in, uh, in this table because I want to get the technique right first. 
Um, so we're going to mix up some resin and uh, I think well, I think we'll go with a touch of the cobalt blue um, just for the base. The base might be enough just to have that in it, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so here we go, here's the base layer going in. Now I just want to get a good even coverage. I want to go nice and low so I don't get any major air bubbles. And then hopefully this will just give me a nice base layer. So just hold that there and let that spread out a bit. So we're going to leave this overnight and fingers crossed tomorrow morning we come back to it and it hasn't leaked all over the floor. Uh, fingers crossed. Right, see you in 24 hours. Okay, so we're back in the shop and the resin has dried. Uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you it warts and all, um, so I'm not hiding anything from you. Uh, but it went wrong. So this is what I've ended up with. Uh, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of bubbles in there. So I think under here, there was a little air pocket which leaked out, and then you can see sort of underneath here, here, and over here, there's some cracks in the wood where I think there's been some fissures and some airs popped out um, over the time it was drying so what I should have done really I should have put it in you know a millimeter layer at a time I mean it looks great with the blue and everything but just these air pockets and that we're gonna have to sand these back and get a decent finish on them uh, so I think what we're gonna do is uh, break off this this end here so I can get the sander in and uh, go with some really coarse grit sandpaper and uh, work my way up through the grits until I've got a nice shiny flat surface again uh, but I think I could be here for some time so um, yeah right well the sandpaper I'm going to use I'm going to start with a 60 I'm going to work my way up through all the grits and then to finish off I've got some of this I've got some of these uh, pads here they're from Charmwood um, but essentially they go all the way from 1500 grit right up to 12,000 grit so uh, I can use them wet or dry I suspect probably I'll start using them uh, wet I think and we're just gonna have to wait and see see how it goes uh, but I might have ruined this um, I really hope it can be salvaged because it looks great apart from the uh, apart from the obvious uh, air bubbles but We'll get to sanding it and I'll come back to you when I've sorted it out or if I've abandoned it. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Actually, I think I've done an alright job. Um, there's some that are actually in the resin, like just here for instance. Um, I really can't do much about that because they they actually go quite deep. And then there's another bit up here where it just sort of, sort of rises out, you can just about see it there. Um, not too worried about these bits in the corners because I'm going to cut that off anyway. Uh, but most of all of this has come out, so really it's going to depend on the next layer. Um, and th this will be the final layer then. So I think I'm just going to have to wait for that to dry. Uh, hopefully it will dry well. But I'm really pleased with how clear it's come back up. Um, so yeah, working your way through the grits really does work. OK, so this has come out really well. Uh, it's come out really nice and shiny. Um, but because of the air bubbles that are around the outside, uh, we've had to shave off quite a bit from each of the four sides. Um, so now it's 27 centimeters by 30 centimeters, which is a bit smaller than I had envisaged. So what we're going to do is make a frame to go around the outside, and then put some legs on it.
okay so there it is there's one done three more to go uh, I'm not about to make you sit there and watch three more of these being made so I'll come back to you after I've finished okay uh, blitz these down sanding them up to uh, to up to 220 yeah 220 um, no no need to go any more than that if there are any legs so these will get stained uh, once I've got three more um, see you in a okay so that's our leg done and dusted um, what I've done is I put it on the mitre saw and just carved off you can see ever so slightly that's, an, that's at a slight angle because when it's fitted I want the legs to sort of splay ever so slightly um, as you turn it around so it doesn't matter which, which order they go on uh, or where they go um, but they're just roughly sanded ready, ready to be stained and uh, did the other three last night as well so now we've got four legs all with the same angle cut on the top so they should all match doesn't matter where they go um, next up is going to be the frame so got another sheet of just construction timber um, which I'm going to buzz off and then put a step in with the table saw uh, so that the table top will just slot right in like, a, like, like the back of a picture frame um, so fingers crossed that turns out okay might be quite a few recuts um, but we'll just buzz this through the table saw and get this started and then start taking some measurements the frame all cut, got it nice and tight, all the mitres well fitting, took a bit of sanding, got our four table legs there and I'm going to give this all a coat in some uh, Johnson's wood care stain, all right, it's for outdoor furniture so this would be nice and hard wearing, got it in country cedar, hopefully that will give it a nice sort of red colour to try and match the U just a little bit but hopefully it will match the room that it's going in where there's an oak bed as well, so we'll give this a, uh, a coat and uh, see how it looks. Right, so it's finished. There it is. There's my little table. Stands up perfectly straight. Uh, there's hardly any wobble on it at all, but by the time it's on carpet, that'll be taken out completely. Really happy with that. That's going to go upstairs in our uh, in our spare bedroom with a oak wood framed bed. Um, there's a little nightstand. 
so I'll pop some stills up of it when uh, when it's put upstairs at the end. I uh, hope you've enjoyed watching it and uh, join me again next time for the next project. Uh, don't forget to like the video, um, it helps me out and uh, also subscribe to the channel, that would be really appreciated. Uh, thanks very much, can't wait to see you all again next time. Cheers!